Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand the properties of region of convergence, which is commonly known as ROC. The first property is the ROC of X of Z consists of a ring in Z plane centered about the origin. So, if we write a Z plane, if we write a Z plane, in X axis we will write uh, the real values of Z and in Y axis we will write the imaginary values of Z. So, if we consider this Z plane, it consists of a ring that is centered about the origin. It consists of a circle or a ring that is centered about the origin. So, this is the first property. The second property states that the ROC does not contain any pole. So, the pole is where x of z is infinity. Since x of z should be a finite value, it should be a finite value for convergence. That is why we can say ROC does not contain any poles. Next property is if x of n is finite duration, then ROC is the entire z plane except for z is equal to 0 and or z is equal to infinity. So, if you get x of n as a finite duration, so for example, for example, if you have x of n is equal to delta of n. So, this sequence is a finite duration. So, we can say ROC or region of convergence will be the entire Z plane. So, you can write the Z plane and you can mark the entire Z plane. Next property is the ROC of right sided sequence is outside the a circle. For example, if we have x of n is equal to alpha to the power of n u of n, this is a right sided sequence. So, the sequence where you are having u of n, those sequence we can call that as right sided sequence because uh, u of n will be equal to 1 for 0 to infinity. So, if you are having a right sided sequence, then the ROC will be outside the circle. So, you can draw the circle and the ROC will be outside the circle. So, you can shade the region outside the circle. So, this we will clearly understand once we solve the problem. Next property, the ROC of left sided sequence is inside the circle. For example, if we take uh, x of n is equal to minus alpha to the power of n u of minus n minus 1. So, this sequence is left sided sequence, you can see u of minus n minus 1 is there. So, this specifies the left sided sequence for this type of sequence or left side sequence, the ROC will be inside the circle. You write the z plane, write the circle and ROC will be inside the circle. The next property. ROC of two sided sequence is concentric ring. For example, for example, if we take x of n is equal to alpha to the power of n u of n minus alpha to the power of n u of minus n minus 1. So, this sequence consists of both right sided sequence and left sided sequence that is why we will call this as two sided sequence. So, for this sequence we will get two ring in a z plane, we will get two circle in z plane and the ROC will be greater than the inner circle and it will be lesser than the outer circle. So, we can shade this uh, inner region. Next property, if x of n is rational the ROC is bounded by poles. So, if x of n is a rational value, at that case, it is bounded by multiple poles or it can extend up to infinity. So, again here, if x of n is rational number, so it will be bounded by poles. So, here we will get two case again. 
if the sub n is right sided sequence and it is rational so it will be having multiple poles for example in z plane you are having multiple poles the roc is outside the outermost pole so we are having multiple pole at that case the roc will be outside the outermost pole so this is for right sided sequence if x of n is rational and it is left sided sequence if it is left sided sequence again it is bounded by multiple poles so roc will be inside the innermost pole so we will consider the innermost pole we will draw the circle and roc will be inside the innermost pole so we are having multiple poles so we will consider innermost pole and roc will be inside the innermost pole for the left sided sequence these properties are very important for the exams hope you have understood the topic thank you